Jim Beam Cherry, Cherry Bim Beam, Cherry, Cherry Jim Jim Jim. <laughs> I've not actually been drinking. My brain's just broken. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Sunfire SG, and welcome back to Frankencraft. This is round two recap. We had a couple of streams where you got a bunch of stuff done, and I want to kind of show that off. But uh, first thing we saw when we sort of walked back into the world, which I want to make a note of, is our lovely little frog friend here has now got a jaunty little hat. So thank you to whoever put that on. I, I actually had the idea to do something similar, so I'm glad somebody has beat me to it because they've done a much better job at a hat than I probably could have. But it's been, I'm guessing, pretty busy. People have been pretty busy on the server uh, just by the fact that we've got all this sort of razzmatazz around here now. There's a, there's a whole slew of changes and never materials. So somebody, somebody's obviously been to the never and uh, succeeded in gathering a lot of stuff. I'm assuming it might be Dave, because I think Dave is the one who did the original sculpture face up there. And this seems like a continuation of the cult. Now, we also have villagers, which we didn't have before, which is nice. But I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of clips of what we got up to in our streams, and then we'll close off for the end of this recap. There's nothing in the barrel. So obviously, they're continuing this. I'm guessing they can... Oh, did someone put a hat on my frog? <laughs> I was going to do that. Awesome. So anything down here? Ooh, storage. Interesting. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. I can dig that. Uh, maybe we go ahead and extend the storage then. Oh, hello. We've got jungle villagers. Most excellent. Uh, that does... That's something new. Well, okay, obviously we need to actually go around this and just make sure we've seen, any, seen everything. As we uh, have missed quite a few things by the looks of it. Is this the name of the world? Oh! <laughs> Look at him! It's like Morty from Rick and Morty. Just like... <laughs> I love it. Again, I think, considering I know that Dave did the, the, the villager at the top, the, the sort of god, I feel like this is, this is his addition as well. He's obviously been to the nether. He's rotating. Look at him go. This is how the bees pollinate in real life as well. They're just kind of like screwdriver onto a flower head. And then they disappear. Generally made my day and I'm keeping it. Good to remember, good reminder that you go girl, you're amazing and to be yourself. Yeah. That's what I tell myself every morning when I get up. You go girl. <laughs> no, we did count it right. We did count it right. I was really second guessing myself there. I was thinking, oh man, I'm going to have to give up being a teacher. I can't even count. I'm looking at you, my friend. He, he doesn't care. He's really chill. Why are you chill? Come back here. Now he's not. Now he's angry. Gotcha. I'll take those and your random bit of gravel that you've got. Let's chuck that out. Like, and we always think back on like the weird stuff we did or how embarrassed we were about this or that. But then when you think back about what other people have done that they'd be embarrassed of, you can't remember it. And that's the thing to remember. When you're feeling embarrassed about something you did in your past and it's like keeping you up or making you miserable and you're thinking, oh, you know, I wish I'd never done that as a kid. Guarantee, like 99% of the people that were there when it happened do not remember it because... I mean, let's face it, if you can't remember anything that they've done that's embarrassing, they probably can't remember anything that you've done that's embarrassing. So why let it eat you up? Hi. Uh oh. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I got stuck in there and I was just like, oh, I'll stay in here now. I probably should have retreated a bit more to the ocean. Never mind. Why does it spawn me in a, in a tree? Cool. So we've got a little bit of this decorated, which is nice. Uh, it's obviously triggered, so now we need to probably break down here. Oh, there we go. It's easy enough. Hey, look at that. Nice. Need some good old goose farts to perk, perk him up. Oh, so it's not, it's not just a, an eau de goose now. It's not a perfume. It's a medicinal product too. 
apparently goose farts cures what ails you that's the that's the catch line just goose farts cures what ails you <laughs> that sounds awful uh i would not recommend goose farts for something like that it does not sound pleasant at all that should be enough should be enough to fully finish this room i always like if i'm building a farm it needs to be fully complete i don't like to build the farm and not have it decorated okay so either way we do a cactus we do a cactus farm it's simple i've got the time and patience to do that at the moment i'd love to do a, a pumpkin and melon farm but i just uh, yeah I'm, i might i've had a few issues with my health so i kind of want to do something that's a bit more chill and less strenuous on my brain as i spent the last two days just in in bed it's, it's not fun. I want to see what people do with this. Like, I want to see people turn into like a massive bedroom or something. Maybe we could do that if we get enough time. If the cactus farm is done really quick, we might look at decorating in here. This is some kind of strange contraption to my uneducated eyes. Ah, oh, it will make sense soon enough, don't worry. It's a very, very simple Minecraft farm, which means you get uh, unlimited amounts of cactus, the most useful substance on, on uh, Minecraft, or in Minecraft, I should say. So basically what happens, Bill, is the cactus will grow into that space here. It will realize it's next to a glass pane, which will cause the cactus to break and also push the cactus down at this level into the water stream, which carries it to the hopper, which puts it in the collection bay and we all profit from it. Irish death. I mean, how strong has it got to be to be called Irish death? Like, if there's one thing Irish people are known for, it's drinking, like, stout ales. Like, like it has to be, like, what was it, like, 90% proof? Like, I wasn't planning on drinking, but it was the best option at the local gas station. Are you sure it's not just gasoline in a can? Because that would be Irish death. I've got some apple pie moonshine with me, so it must be a drink night, eh? Well, I mean, I do have Jim Beam Cherry... Cherry Bim Beam... Cherry... Cherry Jim Jim Jim... I've not actually been drinking. My brain's just broken. Uh, Cherry Jim Beam Red Stag is what it's called. It's nice. They were talking about how many wasps there was. And I just went, you know, I've never been stung by a wasp. And as soon as I said that, a wasp literally did a double take, turned back, landed on my arm, stung me and flew away. So, yeah, wasps are just the worst. Yeah, wasps are the worst. Exactly. Thank you, Emmy. <laughs> I still have a phobia of wasps. I just, I can't stand them. I just, there's certain places in New Zealand, like there's these beach forests, and they're very beautiful places, but they are just infested with wasps. I still can't get over the fact that they are considered an introduced species, not an accidental introduction either. Like, someone went, hmm, needs more, and brought German wasps over to New Zealand. Like we've got, I think, three species of native wasp, but they don't, they, they like sting caterpillars and, you know, do the weird stuff where they like implant the eggs in the caterpillar and the wiggly, wormy lava things eat the, uh, eat the caterpillar from the inside. Yeah, but uh, I'm fine with native wasps. They're great. Sure, do your thing. Not a problem. But German wasps, the ones that are known to be just really efficient at being... Why would you bring them to New Zealand? Why? What possible purpose? It makes no sense. Make it make sense, please. 100%. So he steps out of here. 100%. Complete. Ta-da! Now we're just going to sit back and let it reap in the rewards. Uh, propagules. You got propagules? You like the propagules? Oh, you do like the propagules, yes. Make baby bee. Excellent. So that's that's cool. I didn't know that. They they class as flowers. Cool. Nice. Cool. I don't feel bad about breaking that now since we've got enough iron. I haven't not done any mining here yet. So at some point we do need to do some mining and kind of gather up materials. So there we go. We've got a decent bit of farming set up now. So that's a, a bunch of stuff that we can kind of clear off this area here. I would like to do a bunch more farms. Uh, in the next couple of rounds, but also some builds as well. I've got some ideas floating around. I'm actually not going to tell anybody what they are 
Uh, I did mention them in streams, but I don't want to mention it just in case somebody's watching who's on the server who might guess then what the builds are in the future. It's very complicated. Don't worry about it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I had to cut it a little short just because I've had a few health issues over the last couple of weeks. But we're going to be passing it on now, and I hope you enjoyed it. So I'll see you for round three. Bye for now.